Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's demo I'd like to demonstrate how we can automate the, uh, the OTP MFA authentication using Playwright, Automation Framework, TypeScript as a programming language and basically GitHub CI CD, well, you know, as a CI CD tool. And as usual, the HTML report is gonna be generated as a result of this uh, test run. So here's our case. We're gonna go to this URL, the ODP challenge, and we're gonna have to, well, basically provide these credentials and then generate the, uh, the OTP code. Paste it here and just click login. So let me just quickly do that here. And we're gonna have to verify that we have successfully logged in. So basically what I mean by that, we're gonna check this success, like green container, they contains the partial string or substring of success right here. So we're gonna assert this one. Now let's, uh, let me show you how, how this thing runs. And then we're gonna do a code breakdown and a CI launch, okay? So here we got our authentication test in production, right? So let me just click run right here. So it's gonna instantiate the browser, go to the URL, provide the email address, provide the password and the OTP. Click login and here you go. So here are our logs. As usual, we're logging all the steps. We're logging, you know, the, we're logging the OTP itself. We're also validating the OTP. I'm gonna explain that in a minute, right? So we go to the URL, we provide the credentials, we generate the OTP, we validate the OTP, and as the last step, we validate that there is this uh, alert success locator with a substring that, you know, basically that contains the success text. So let's jump into it, right? So first off, we're gonna need the uh, NPM modules, basically two NPM modules. The first one's gonna be speak easy, and the next one's gonna be types for the speak easy, right? So basically like this is a TypeScript thing. Then we got our playwright master or parent config or whatever, like master config probably is the best way to call it. And yeah, we got all our, all our projects here. We're gonna add the uh, authentication project with a test spec match by this mask. Um, and this, uh, this test spec is gonna be, and, and here is our test spec, so we're gonna get into that in a minute. The next thing we got our uh, child config, so this is just for the demo purposes, I just, you know, uh, disabled the, uh, the headless, I'm gonna enable it back, because we've seen how it, this stuff runs, so we don't need that for now. And then there's like a few updates for the CI CD, we're gonna get that in a minute as well, so we're gonna get that like uh, pretty soon, both for staging and prod. Then we got like a couple of updates, so a couple of new uh, params and values like in the, envir in the environmental configs. So we got the OTP base URL, the OTP secret, and the OTP secret, this is basically this kind of string, right? Uh, this kind of value, and it is like generated I like you, you, you can either get it um, on your MFA page while you're setting this up in your application because usually like I haven't seen a single time where this was non-existent because you can either scan the QR code and add it to your authenticator like on your mobile phone or right here as a, as a Chrome extension for example but, uh, but in order to automate this stuff you're gonna need this secret value which is like a string right here. So this is not some fancy, just, uh, you know, the param that you need to do the, to accomplish this uh, task. And yeah, you know, I'm showing this because uh, there was a time where, where, there was a time when I struggled with uh, automating this kind of scenario, but now I don't struggle with that, so there's just a specific approach of doing so. I'm showing this with a specific tool set, you may have your own tool set, or you may have this, the same tool set, whatever. If it applies to a project, then take on and use it, please. So we got the secret value right here, and then we got also, we got the credentials, user's credentials, right? The OTP email and OTP password. And this is basically same, same for broad. So this is just to show you that we got, a, we got our like multi set setup ready. The next module, which is probably the most important one, is uh, the actual like OTP generator. So I've put in the uh, APIs folder right here. So the OTP generator is a class which uses the uh, speakeasy NPM library and uh, this class basically consists of two methods. So the first method is of course the get OTP and we provide the secret value which is which is this. We're gonna be logging that to the console as, as you have seen right here, the generated OTP. And the next, uh, yeah, we're gonna return to you for further usage. And the next thing we're gonna have the uh, verify OTP method. This is not obligatory, but um, sometimes it's in your best interest to uh, you know to validate the data that you're actually using, 
because like there can be different encodings um, and there also can exist a window of you know something that uh, I'd call the validation window and I'm gonna explain you what it means right so we're gonna provide the secret right here and we're gonna provide the uh, the token that we have received from the previous method then we're gonna log this to the console whether it's valid or not and return the uh, this boolean value so what's the window here right what what is this what does this mean so let me demo this as a schema so here we got our otp validity timeline or window and basically like this is our timeline and this and these are our otps and uh, as you know like every 30 seconds the a new otp is generated and what does that window actually mean so if we in this case if we validate or verify the otp with a value set to zero that would mean that uh, that that this otp would not be valid and therefore we would not be able to log in different apps which use the mfa have their own logic for example you when you when you're logging into the aws web services you got to provide two otps so the most recent one and the one before it that means for example we set the window value to one that would mean that if, if for example if we have this otp that would mean that this OTP is still valid and the previous OTP is still valid and this one is probably still gonna be valid, right? So like this works both ways. So in case we set the window value to one right here, that would mean that in the current time frame the OTP is valid and the one before it is still valid. And that would also mean that if during our test run, you know, we generated this OTP in this time frame, by this time moves on, there was a new OTP generated while we have still not filled our like uh, input uh, field with this OTP. So that would mean that this is going to be valid and this is going to be valid. I think you get the point, right? So this is like, so this kind of widens the, uh, the frame, right? Or the interval inside of which we're using like different OTPs, right? So basically that's how this stuff works. And that's what we need it for. But once again, that's not obligatory if you know the logic. Okay, so the next we got our page object file. And that's pretty standard. So we're gonna be using the sign in data interface, which is gonna consist of email, password, and OTP secret. This is a class, as usual, it extends like common page actions. So we got our stuff defined right here, whether it's a locators or like whether it's some class instance. And we got our constructor with all the selectors and stuff and the environmental variables such as the base URL. And then we got we got our sign in method which accepts the uh, the the interface the sign in data interface as an argument and it is represented as a step which is called signs in with valid user credentials and OTP. So we're going to visit the URL, we're going to fill in the email and password inputs, then we're going to generate the OTP with a secret for that specific user. And then we're going to verify it and then we're going to fill that uh, OTP field. And then we're going to click the, uh, the sign in button and wait for our uh, success, that green container, and wait for it to appear and contain this partial string, which is success text. The next uh, module we got is, uh, is of course, our um, authentication, well, test data. And uh, as usual, it is exported as a constant. And, you know, in order to make this test, like, to make this scalable and flexible, I've designed it in a way that you can um, you can provide like various roles right here. So uh, in your application, you can usually have multiple users with you know different roles, such as administrator or you know some operator or manager, you know some dev role or whatever. So this can be whatever, depending on your project, depending on the uh, the tools you're using, depending on your system, right? And this secret is like user based. So this secret is not gonna be the same for, for another user. So you're gonna have to, you know, to add all these values to the .n files, and then they are, uh, and then the test data is gonna consume those values, right? So for, for an admin, it's gonna be one OTP secret. For, for a manager, it's gonna be another OTP secret, right? Um, as well as the credentials. So that's how it, uh, that's how it works, basically. Then we got our page manager, so I import, I import this, uh, the sign-in page for the, the OTP sign-in page uh, to, the, to the page manager instance, which saves us time by not importing all the, uh, the components manually within the spec files. So basically nothing fancy here. And here's our main spec, which uh, basically uses this credentials data. And uh, yeah, so, like, so we invoke this sign-in method which I have just shown you. And we provide the credentials of the admin. 
And basically, you've seen, like, from what you've seen in the beginning of this video, this is how this stuff runs. So let's push this stuff to the GitHub and let's run this stuff in CI, shall we? Now, speaking of CI, let me show you this YAML file so you're aware of the logic. So I have a, a complete breakdown of how the CI CD runs within this test repository. So you, you may watch that as a separate video if you wanna. But since we're at it, I've added the, uh, the authentication test prod and, th and authentication test, test uh, stage, like basically two new variables. I've added those uh, to the GitHub Actions uh, settings, like Environments and Secrets section. I instantiate it right here, and then we got all the rest of the logic. So I'm not gonna stop right here because I got a separate video for that. Now, let's run our workflow. So we got our test prod, workflow file selected. Let's click on Run the workflow, and let's paste this single test suite because we, we don't wanna run all of those, for now at least, right? This is not the purpose of this demo. So yeah, let's click run workflow and wait until it finishes. So yeah, for some reason it keeps on failing specifically in the CI. And if we take a look at the report, uh, the screenshot, that's gonna be enough. So it says that you've not been successfully logged in and it suggests us to clear our brow browser cache. Which is not understandable to me why this keeps happening because it, it runs locally, you know, connecting with, to the same like website and all that stuff. So, I don't know, if anybody knows the reason behind that, I'd be happy to hear it. You know, since this is just the demo page, so things may happen. So yeah, this doesn't really matter to me right now because on the real app, this usually doesn't happen. At least it didn't happen to me while I was testing, you know, while I was doing some testing on the real apps, so. I don't think this is gonna be your case as well. They also suggest us to use the OTP, uh, to use the TOTP API right here, but this is basically the same stuff. It's just the endpoint that differs here. So you gotta paste the secret right here, or you know, do that programmatically. And you're gonna receive the same code and then use that code right here in your login page. Here's a template, and um, I hope it works on your projects. Have a good one. Till next time. <laughs>